Welcome to a brand new series I'm starting on YouTube where I talk about horror games and how scary they are. Now, first horror game that we're going to talk about today is Indigo Park. I recently played Indigo Park a few days ago on my channel and I got scared shitless, but that's not saying much coming from me considering I'm a little bitch when it comes to horror games. I've been playing them for, oh, for over a year, I still haven't gotten used to them at all. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Be sure to join my Discord server, link is in the description. I'm gonna try my best to keep spoilers to a minimum in this video because I want it to be accessible to people who have and haven't played the game. Now, let's get right into it. Ah! Come on, new staff! Shit, 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 get me in, get me in, get, 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 get me the fuck in! Indigo Park is a very short game ranging 20 to 40 minutes depending on how fast you are and depending on what you want to see. There are a few collectibles to pick up during the game. Anyways, it follows a dude in an abandoned amusement park with his only friend being an AI companion, Rambly the Raccoon. It's one of those games I like to call all sizzle, no steak. And the reason for that is because you're not in any real danger for a very large portion of the game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The very scary atmosphere and the use of lighting and background noise is extremely well done, which which means it doesn't really need actual danger to be scary, and which is very impressive if you think about it. However, there are real dangers throughout this amusement park, real threats, and I'm gonna try and explain to you in the best non-spoilerish way possible what they are and on what scary level it can be. Now, you may be wondering, is there jump scares in this game? And here's the thing, the developers of Indigo Park has made it very easy and accessible for people who are dog shit at video games and good at video games to have a fun experience. Although that does mean that it can be quite easy at times, so there is a chance you may not even get jump scared. However, I do think this game sets a very good tone for it still being absolutely terrifying. If you are a horror game veteran, I find there are a lot of tropes used in this game that probably won't end up working on you, such as characters peeking around corners, lighting going out, or different sound effects banging and clanging away in the background. That may not necessarily work as well on you, however, sure did work on me. Be sure to take that with a grain of salt as I am one of the most timid people of all time when it comes to horror games, which is why I think this game will be a lot scarier to beginner horror players rather than veteran horror players. However, I do think there's a lot of scary moments that can get horror veterans into it and terrified just as much. One thing about horror games that elevates them so much is the character design and the look of the threats within them. However, that is something Indigo Park doesn't have as much of. Uh, games like Five Nights at Freddy's 4 or The Joy of Creation, those have some of the scariest horror models of, of animatronics or characters that I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know why those were two Five Nights at Freddy's examples, however, I do play a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's, so whatever. But still, two very great examples of horrifying horror game villains. However, Indigo Park doesn't really have terrifying character models for these threats, so it does take away a little bit of the scariness. But that's not saying much when the atmosphere does add a lot to the scariness on its own, that the game can still be scary, but not scarier than like the joy of creation why is that the scariest game i can think of i feel like i've played scarier games i'm just saying the joy of creation because i was too much of a little bitch to get through the joy of creation what's a scary do i even know scary games i can't think of any other scary game but the joy of creation My, uh, i'm rambling on now um, okay as you make your way throughout the amusement park, you will be met with challenges and puzzles, which are fairly easy in difficulty. I wouldn't say they're very hard at all. I'd say most people can get them done in at least like a few tries, but it's okay if, you know, it takes you a while. However, Indigo Park is one of those games that thrives in lore and atmosphere. I'd say the threats and the actual monsters take a bit of a back seat in this game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It depends on what kind of games you love and uh, what style of horror you love. I like a lot of different styles, so this is one game that I really, really enjoyed, and I can't wait for chapter two. Anyways, without further ado, what rating out of 10 do I give this game on a scariness level? Not on how good the game was, not on any of that, how scary it was. Purely that. I give it a 6 out of 10. Is the game scary? Yes, absolutely. However, it's not nearly the scariest game I've ever played, and I was able to get through it with ease. Did I scream a few times? Absolutely, and I am pretty certain you might as well. Certain and you might are kind of contradictory. 
to each other. Should I? No. Thank you so much for watching. I know this video was a bit short. Indigo Park is a short game. Hopefully, uh, as I continue this series, I can make longer videos going in more in depth about other games which have a lot more meat to them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more of me, consider subscribing. Be sure to join my Discord server as well because we talk about anything. We really do talk about anything. We can talk about YouTube, video games, music, anime, TV shows, movies, anything. There's a bunch of people in there. It's pretty decently active. And uh, yeah, see ya. Thank you so much for watching.